I wanted to work with Karen, and um, when I read it, I was so affected by it emotionally, and it was something I'd never done before. Um, and I wondered if I actually would be able to do it, uh, which is always good, you know, as an actor, because it means you're pushing into places that you haven't been. And I read it um, when I was on a plane, and then I reread it, and um, I called up and 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 said, look, I know Karen Kusama, and I know she's not thinking of me for this role, but would there be any chance that she'd be interested? And that sort of got the ball rolling. I mean, it, it's it's a departure in the sense of um, it's ter it's territory I've never explored, and physically I've never, you know, been asked to play a woman that that looks like this or behaves like this, and that is um, that was a real. I think, you know, Karen took a real chance on me. I mean, I, it was a risk to cast me in the role and I just really wanted it to be authentic and real and I wanted people to believe it. But I just liked the way she sort of just jumped in. A lot of it's handheld and there's a um, frenetic quality to the filmmaking and a muscular quality to the filmmaking, which I think helps the performance. So as much as it was territory that I haven't walked before, I felt safe in her hands doing it. I mean, I want to support female directors at this time in my career. I'm really actively doing that, looking to do that. Um, and so that was part of the appeal, definitely. Um, at the same time, um, I just she was just the right person for this film. I grew up watching these films, but I didn't grow up watching these films with women starring in them. I grew up watching these films from the 70s with men starring in them. And so I suppose I've always in the back of my mind gone, wouldn't that be great to find something along those lines of those um, crime thrillers and dramas from um, the 70s, but where are they? And I'm certainly not they're not coming to me so when this arrived and the way in which she described it I thought this is new and it's unusual even though it's coming from a particular male background it's new because it's a woman it was what I call that sort of um, you know scrappy filmmaking where you're just like if we don't get in there and do it now we're just not going to have the sequence so we need to be rough and and go for it but I think that vibrates through and people feel that. Hey there here's today's daily fact that slightly scandalous charcoal drawing of a topless Kate Winslet in Titanic was drawn by none other than the director himself James Cameron. Now if you want something done right sometimes you just need to do it yourself. Now remember to click here below to subscribe for more content or on the side to watch another video.